Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer, and I've been saying it since I got the wagon about the handle. Look, it's officially the handle broke. And look, it was holding on by a piece of thin plastic. As you can see, I want you guys to look at this. Rip right off, friends. This is why I said, why would they design this with a cheap plastic knowing that it's going to break through stress? It was common sense. Look, it's right there. It's breaking because of the stress. It's, what is such a fucking lame design? This is why these wagons are not worth $200 on Amazon. And Amazon, you literally need to address to stop deleting my review for this wagon because it goes to show you what I was talking about all the long Amazon this is why you Amazon are the problem you deleted my review because it literally emphasizes why Amazon doesn't take it seriously when it comes to these overpriced wagons yeah overpriced wagons that break look look Exactly what I was talking about and luckily I'm on a Wi-Fi booth right now, so ugh. It broke at the right exact good spot Just to show you guys these wagons are not worth 200 fucking dollars and Amazon stop deleting honest reviews Guys, this is what I've been showing Amazon This is what Amazon doesn't want you to see everybody this is exactly what Amazon doesn't want you to see in my reviews. They don't want you to see this kind of honesty, this kind of wear and tear after just less than 14 days. Amy, if I could afford that, because those things are like $300. 300, it, it depends on which model you get. I know what you're talking about, the bicycle trailers, but mind you, I'm not looking for a bicycle trailer. Because bicycle trailers also have a flaw. I can't store everything in a bicycle trailer. No, I can't put this stuff in a bicycle trailer. It would just poke right out. It defeats the whole purpose. The purpose, Amy, is to get everything into one unit and cover it like I'm doing it now. And as you can see, it broke cheap plastic so this is what I'm saying to Amazon Amazon why do you emphasize to delete honest reviews you got busted just a few days ago deleting my honest review no one was solicitating no one was doing anything no one said anything just focus on the product and you still said it was not within the guidelines so everyone before you buy these type of wagons on Amazon Ask yourself, is it worth? Because it looks cool, it has all these features, but I told you everybody, these tires are breaking apart. The handle just broke. The handle gives you blisters. Look at that. Blisters in the middle of your hand. That's insane. Cheap plastic. So now, now I gotta have to like, go to the same hardware store and beg the Russian dude can he help me fix this and I get him back? So now I'm gonna ask for a favor. Another favor from the Russian guy that owns the, the hardware store over here. Can he fix this for me? And I, I, he knows I'm good for it probably, but I need this fix. So what I have a plan was to mount this, take this off and mount it all on this one pole. Simple as that. But I want customers, I want Amazon to see why Amazon, you, sir, Amazon, you douchebags over at Amazon. Sorry, everyone, I'm sick and I'm on Wi Fi, so let me give me a second. Where is the email? Did I delete the emails? Oh, my God.
Uh, guys, just the other day I made a video why Amazon deleted my honest review about this wagon. So I post an honest video about the wagon. I think it's about an 11 minute video I post about the wagon. Why it's not worth $200. How can I say this is worth $200? just saying friends like I could buy a pair of rollerblades for 200 bucks and it was they will last longer than this wagon and mind you I'm strutting with the rollerblades I'm up and down the streets I'm jumping I'm doing tricks but this thing $200 same price you telling me this can't survive as long as my rollerblades and, and it's supposed to be made out the same material which they're not so with that said everyone Amazon consumers I'm on Wi-Fi right now I apologize there's been no live streams because I, I'm not even gonna talk about it but we got a broken handle already look at this watch it's breaking some more it's already broken look <laughs> see that's how easy it was Amazon that's how easy what I want to talk to Amazon and I want to talk to the creators of this this wagon what made you think that this was going to endure physical abuse stress and turn in on some cheap plastic what made you think that was going to happen friend I'm just curious and Amazon why are you not coming to your own conclusion that I was right all along about this product why don't you just apologize, Amazon, and just say I was right about this product since the moment I got it. This is why we send back the second wagon because it was missing screws. Why was it missing screws? I have no idea. Even the Amazon point was like, oh, my pants. I was like, guys, this is like my eighth wagon within like two years, within a year and a half. It's just... You guys, you're upselling wagons? These wagons should cost about 50 bucks, friend. Yes, I believe this wagon here should cost less than $100. I shouldn't have to pay the 170 fucking US dollars for a wagon that was going to break on the first day, second, third, and then repair on the fourth day, and then repair on the sixth day, and then try to fix it on the seventh day, and on the eighth day we made out a video it goes to show you Amazon that you don't care about the consumers. Just showing everybody, broken wagon, friends. Just want to show everyone, this is what I got to deal with. Now we don't have money to fix it. We was trying to get on our way to make some money to go get some money for me to have for the day but no this happened because it's a cheap product and it's overpriced it's way overpriced this wagon should not be no more than a hundred dollars retail price for this wagon I'm gonna say it should have been $79.99 because these wagons look look, look at this it's tearing this is a, this is mind you everybody this is a thermos Stay. <laughs> Look how it's ripping from its pouch. Wait, you're telling me it can't even hold coffee, co coffee cups? No. Look, look at everybody. Look, it's shredding. It can't even hold a coffee fucking thermos. That's embarrassing, Amazon. That's super embarrassing. It can't hold a coffee thermos. What then? What? Why was this designed like? Because the materials they're using, look at this material. This is the cheapest material you can use. Look at the threads, everybody. Look at the thread. Just look at these threads. That is some crappy material, friend. And they want $200 for this, friend. $200. You know what I say? Suck the bag of dicks, Amazon, because this is unacceptable. So this is why I'm saying to you guys, everybody, this wagon that I purchased, I'm gonna leave it down in the link. Everyone that bought this wagon, that said, oh, the wagon works perfectly. It may work perfectly for you, 
But guess what? As I demonstrated in my initial review, this is only 171 pounds. This emphasizes that it can maintain and hold 350 pounds, which is 250 liters. 200, not 150, but 250 liters. But look, but it can't even, the handle can't even hold the wagon intact. The wheels are falling apart because they're made out of some PU material. The glass gets stuck in it and then it shreds the wheel. The material is breaking. Not only that, the back wheel, even though I, I JB weld the back wheel, it still moves left and right. <laughs> It's just like, oh my panda, this is not worth a $200 wagon, Amazon. And do you want us to send the wagon back? I'm like, okay, send the wagon back. And then, guys, guess what happens when you get your return? Sometimes this happens. Amazon will charge you a restocking fee. If they determine that the product is working functionally, keep this in mind. They're not experiencing what you're experiencing. They're not experiencing how much you actually are putting in this wagon. As, as I said, Amazon, I want you to redo what I'm doing. I want you to re, reenact, put 171 pounds in the wagon and then push your own wagon, mind you, and then pull it down these New York City streets. You're gonna be like, oh wow, that is difficult. That's, that is a big strain on your back. That's a big strain on your shoulders. That's a big strain if you're an older person and you're pulling this and you have some type of muscle dis dis disorder yeah not very good everyone the pulling mechanism is just not functional we broke the wagon ladies and gentlemen i have no money to fix this so i'm just showing you guys that it broke as i said the wagon the handle was going to break because of the cheap plastic I told you guys it was going to. I know this from from the engineer standpoint that you don't apply cheap plastic like this that's supposed to support 350 fucking pounds of weight. There's no way, friends. No way. That's going to support 350 pounds. That's plastic and these ribbons. Look at these. Look at that. So what am I supposed to do here, huh? MacGyver this shit? Maybe. I'm gonna try to go to the Russian, I'm gonna try to go to the hardware store and I'm asking the Russian guy like, listen man, <laughs> you're not gonna like this, but here's another wagon for you. You're gonna, oh my panda, you just keep bringing me these wagons. <laughs> Why do you keep breaking, you're rough. I'm like, no, New York City. It's not, it's rough. But it's the cheap wagon manufacturers that makes these cheap wagons with cheap parts. But they want $200, $300 for these wagons. Not worth the wagon. Not, much the, not worth the money, everybody. Amazon. I re-uploaded my review. I did change some things. But I'm not going to change the aspect of my review. I did change some words. Because it seems like... When I mentioned Amazon in my review, you guys got butthurt. And that's why I think, everyone, why Amazon originally did not want to approve my review. Because they were butthurt about what I said. Because it was just true honesty. And they can't take transparency and honesty as professionals at Amazon. They, like to, they get hurt so much. Either they hang up the phone on you when you're on the phone on customer service. Or you can't understand them because they speak too low or they speak too loud or there's something else is going on in the background. You ask them, can you please speak to a supervisor? They keep wanting to deny you to speak to a supervisor. And then when you say like, well, it's my obligation as, or you, as a consumer to request for a different apartment for services. Are you denying me those services? They're not supposed to deny your services, but Amazon employees do that sometimes. And then when they can't get their way, they want to hang up the phone and have you do the process all over again. Now, Amazon, you know this has been going on because you guys record your good conversation. And ever since I called, how many times I have called within the year, Amazon, about problems with your employees and these wagons? Sorry, Amazon, but you need to respond because you accept fake reviews 
over honesty because these type of videos and these type of reviews and the honest ones do hurt sales and that hurts Amazon's pocket if the seller cannot sell that hurts Amazon and Amazon gets hurt and Amazon gets mad when it doesn't make money and Amazon wants to attack innocent people like Darren Darren is a photographer from Hawaii from Honolulu right he's an honest photographer he just buys stuff from Amazon and guess what happened to him Darren was actually blocked from making reviews for what reason don't know but I guarantee it it's violating consumer rights Amazon and I know you are so Darren we talked about this on Facebook friend you should literally file the FCC complaint against Amazon because Amazon violated your civil and your consumer rights because if you look at their policies you have to do something pretty serious for them to block you from making reviews I should be one blocked not you I'm critical you're not I'm I'm in their face you're not I throw it into their face you don't why are you blocked and I'm not see someone in Amazon violated your consumer rights friend so Darren if I were you file a BBC complaint and the FCC complaint as well because FCC is coming down on Amazon about those fake reviews anyway and Amazon needs to address why they accept fake reviews over honesty because fake reviews sell the products more because the people and this is including Americans you accept free products in exchange for your money back yes through PayPal do the sellers because the sellers contact you through your email they don't contact you through Amazon because Amazon keeps a track record of that did you know that so if a seller wants to email you through Amazon Amazon can see those emails but if a seller wants to email you privately through another email saying oh you just recently purchased one of our products and we wanted to offer you an opportunity to give us a five-star review for the exchange for a collaboration for a five-star review see five-star review So if you accepted those, then you are solicited and that means your review is fake. And as I said, Amazon, you busted. I got you where I want you. You want to play these games with these products. You want to play games with my reviews and saying that I am a documentarian, that I am a tech reviewer, I as a product reviewer, I as a YouTuber have no right to give you honesty, ladies and gentlemen. This is what Amazon is saying. I have no right to give you honesty about these products. What I'm doing, what they're trying to say, what I'm doing is solicitation. How am I solicitation? I'm trying to give people the honest opinion and the honest video they can possibly find on the internet about these cheap wagons, friend. I, guys, I almost bought this wagon for 200 bucks. Amazon refunded the money because they dropped the ball. Not only that, the Amazon, the, the wagon was a soon re received this wagon it was already damaged it was already broken we had to make repairs on the first second third fourth day sixth day seventh day eighth day we made our initial review the tenth day we just uploaded the video and this is what the 12th mm. not even not even 14 days everybody and i say this Amazon wants you to go to the hassle to return these kind of products too. No, no, no. Amazon, this is what you're going to do. You're going you're gonna to penalize sellers for lying about the marketing material for these wagons. Because, Amazon, if it did support 350 US pounds, why is the bag or the cart itself, the fabric, is shredded? Hmm. You can't support it cheap material it's supposed to be some thick material no it's not thick guys does this look like some thick look at the market material for this wagon everybody and go compare it what does this fabric look like this is not this doesn't feel like jean fabric or denim jack or thread that doesn't even feel like a thread that feels like some cheap recycle i don't know what, what the hell they call that it's a mixture of like 
Look at this. That's not, yeah, that's not strong fibers at all. That is not strong fibers. So, ladies and gentlemen, 20 minutes into this video, I'm ranting on Amazon. I'm using the Wi Fi. I just wanted to let you guys know that the wagon handle broke. And this is what I got to deal with. So, take it with a grain of salt. You've been warned. Do not buy these wagons. If you do buy these wagons and you said it was a good wagon, listen, I'm pretty sure you're not putting over 100 pounds in your wagon. As you are, you're lying about the experience and you're misleading yourself about the experience. So, uh, customers, be honest to yourself. Is this wagon good for you? Because it's not good for me and I just had it for only fucking 12 days, right? The new wagon came in. The new wagon came in and that was missing parts. It's the same wagon too. Same height, same wheel, same component, same everything. It's the same wagon, just different brands, different names on it. So with that said everyone, you should have witnessed a bad example why Amazon wagons are not to be trusted. This is why we need to really save our money up and we need to buy one of these. Mm, just, ooh. Just had a video of it. Because it's on my other phone, I think. It's on my other phone, I think. Yep, it's on my other phone, friends. But I need to get one of, one of these guys, buddy. Let me open the phone up here. Let's go to camera. Oh, by the way, everybody, I want you guys to see this too. You see this? This was the ball bearing right there. That's the ball bearing. Look how it got rusted. Quick. You see that, everybody? And you, this wagon's worth $200? No, Amazon. You know, Amazon, like I said, I have an archive full of videos and full of photographs. Things that I have not uploaded to YouTube yet. So if I were you, friend, All right, guys, this is what I need. I need one of these, friend. I need one of these, everybody. I was checking out this guy's, like, cargo bike. It looks cool. That's what I need, friends. But $4,000 with one of these is quite expensive. It's electric, but they want three grand for the non-electric. I was like, no, that's... Oh. Now you could get one without the seating. I think it would cost less. But that's what we need everybody. We need one of these. Yeah, that's what we need everybody. We don't need one, we don't need no more these crappy as wagons from Amazon so with that said everyone if you guys want to contribute to try to temporarily fix this until we find us some a permanent solution please be my guest to join the panda nation here if you want to help panda try to fix this somehow uh, please uh, there's a PayPal cash app Remo international wise because like I said before everyone, when I first got this wagon, major problems with the handle. And the handle was going to break eventually due to stress and pulling it on the plastic. So with that said everyone, we're going to try to do some MacGyver shit here. And try to fix it. Somehow, somewhere, right? But with that said everyone, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. I appreciate it, but I got to conserve battery as well. Alright? And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.